So in this video, I want to start, uh, want to show some examples of different types of straps. And uh, we're going, we, we got uh, tree straps, tree huggers, and we have some Dyneema um, straps also. I'm going to show you the, try to show you the advantages, disadvantages of the, of the different types of straps to help you make a better decision on what type of strap you want to use. So all of these straps here are, are a polyester strap and they're rated about 1500 pounds. These straps are Dyneema and they're, they're rated about 1500 pounds also. Um, so we have, first of all, the straps, there's tree straps and tree huggers. And I'll show you the difference here. So this is a uh, tree hugger and it's just a, uh, it has, a tree hugger has loops on both ends of the strap and it's just a loop, generally about six foot, uh, but you can get them four foot, six foot, eight foot, whatever you want. It, it really depends on the type, the size of trees that you have in the area where you're using, we're using it at. One way, and they're mainly used to, like if you have a whoopee sling suspension or something like that, you can clip it to both of these loops, you know, after it's wrapped around the tree, or you can take the strap and run it through and tighten it up and then just connect it to the, to the one end there. Um, so that's a tree hugger. And then a tree strap is, uh, it has, it only has a loop on one end the other end is just uh plain like this here so it's uh so that's the difference tree hugger has a loop on both ends tree strap only has a has a loop on one end and uh the tree straps we generally make them about 12 foot long you can get them uh any length you want but we uh that's generally what we go for and um a lot of people will say, well, the, the best distance between trees is 12 to 15 foot. So if you got your trees are 12 to 15 feet apart and you got an 11 foot hammock, why would you need straps that are 12 foot long? Um, that's because of the trees. If you're using a small tree, it doesn't take much strap. But if you're using a big old tree, you eat up a lot of distance to that strap going around that, that strap. I mean, around that tree. So 12 foot straps, by the time you wrap around a really big tree, there's not much left over. And then if you want to save some weight, if you get a 12 foot strap and decide, man, I've been using this for quite a while and I've never used more than like eight feet of my strap. And you decide you just want to cut some off the end of it to make it a little shorter and save you a few grams. You know, that's pretty easy to do. Um, these straps are hex, on, hex cam. Um, different colors. I think this is the Adir Adirondack. This is the uh, 5 Echo. Uh, a lot of different versions of hex cam. Camo, we can get the straps pa uh, printed in this. In Prime 1 camo, uh, we can do black. There's lots of other colors. You can get yellow, red, pink, uh, d d blue. Uh, a lot of colors are available. If you're looking for something custom, we can do that. We can We order the strap material and then we sew the loops. We cut them to length and we sew the loops on the, uh, on the end. But what, what we normally do when we sew the straps is what's called the box stitching. I don't know how well it's showing up on the video, but it, they, the box stitching, it's like three X's with boxes around them. We use that for our sewing on our straps and it, it holds pretty good. Um, this is Dyneema. To give you one advantage of, Dy uh, of Dyneema is like this is a 12 foot strap. This strap and this strap are both rated at 1500 pounds, but these straps are a little bit thicker than these are. And so you could see the amount of space, you know, this takes up less space than this one does. But these are 12 foot straps. This is a 14 foot Dyneema strap. You can see there is a huge difference not only in size, but in weight. These are super light. 
bad thing about Dyneema is uh, one of the things I don't like about it is the more you use it, the more wadded up it gets and wrinkled up and it's kind of, you can straighten it out, but it, it takes a little bit of work. And one thing with these is when you, we always suggest using a tree strap instead of rope rope like on those cheap hammocks you put that around there it can damage the trees so using at least a one inch wide strap really helps protect the, the trees now with this dyneema it's one inch but a lot of times it can get rolled up as you're using it and then uh now you're not distributing that weight over that wide of a material you're distributing it over a thinner material and it's almost like using a rope so you got to really kind of go through after you have it set up, you got to go through and kind of flatten the strap around the tree to get that protection. Um, one advantage that Dyneema strap has over these, especially this one, the thicker strap, is you could use this Dyneema strap for a, what's called a Beckett hitch. And I'll show you how a Beckett hitch works. Okay, so a Beckett hitch, if you had this strap, around your tree and then you could just take your strap and do the uh, Beckett hitch which is easier if it's to a tree than doing it like this but it just goes like that and it's a, a simple slip knot this holds really well and everything um, so that's one advantage you could you can if you use the Beckett hitch for your suspension uh, the Dyneema straps work really well for that the these thicker straps don't work as well they don't tie that knot as well and um, that you but some we can get we have some of the polyester that's thinner that uh, will work for the Beckett hitch uh, these thicker ones not so much um, if you're going to use a a Beckett hitch the downside to it is once you've been in the hammock and had your weight on it and it pulls and pulls uh, when you go to untie it it's hard you're trying to pull this to slip it out and you really can't get a hold of this to to pull in the opposite direction because what uh, well all you have to do to untie this is just pull that out and that just slips and comes undone but once the weight's on this stuff, it, you know, after you slept in it all night, it is really hard to untie. Um, if you use the, if you want to use uh, Dyneema straps, what I suggest is instead of having regular continuous loops, I would have this here, which is called a Beckett loop. And uh, see if you can see that close up. It's got that little, see how that gray in is uh, got a loop on there that gray part of it generally these be generally these Beckett loops are made one color but this is my wife's hammock and she wanted it multicolor to match her hammock so we were able to do that the advantage of the Beckett loop is when you go to tie the Beckett loop I mean Beckett hitch and there's videos out there to show you how to tie this I'm just I'm not really doing that in a video showing you how to tie it but so now when you've had to wait on there all night and and you go to untie this and you can't get a hold of it I mean can't and it's really tight you have this little loop here on the end of it you just stick your finger through there and pull that way while you pull this this way and it unties really easy um, a side note if for somebody is thinking about using Dyneema straps, we did not design this Beckett loop. Um, a woman th that owns this store, um, the uh, Autumn Ultralight, she designed these. And uh, if you want to buy these Beckett loops to put on the end of your hammocks, I would appre I would appreciate it if you would go to her site, AutumnUltralight.com. I'll put a link to it in this video. But because she did, she came up with this, she dreamed up this whole idea and came up with it. And I don't want to take money away from her. So if you uh, if you want to use this type of strap and have a, and use the Beckett hitch suspension, uh, I would suggest going to Autumn Ultralight and ordering some of these Beckett loops for from her. 
Now, if we're making you a custom hammock and you want Beckett loops on there, we will do that. But if you're just ordering them separately to put on your hammock, uh, please go to her website and order them. So that's the gist of the straps. Um, we have a lot of options available. If you got something custom in mind for your straps that you want, just get a hold of us and and we can talk talk with you on what options are available or the options that you have in mind. You know, if if something we can do. And um, but that's the gist of it. The uh, the big thing to remember is the difference between the tree huggers and tree straps. Tree huggers are usually shorter, usually on average about six foot long and they have the loop on both ends. Um, and it's mainly to be used with, uh, like if you're using a whoopee sling suspension or something like that. Tree straps only have a loop on one end and they're, they're generally about 12 foot long each and they could be used for um, uh, marlin spike hitch, uh, uh, cinch buckle suspensions are really good for that. A, a lot of other type of suspensions. And speaking of Marlin Spike, let me show you something else you could do with, with the Dyneema straps and these lighter weight straps. So one thing you could do with uh, the thinner straps, like the Dyneema straps or the thinner polyester straps, is something that's called a Marlin Spike Hitch. Now again, I'm not, I'm not doing this video to show you how to do it, so I'm just going to tie it real quick. But um, the way the Marlin Spike Hitch works is bring it over. Pull this through. Now I'm using a metal stake in this case, but you can use, you can buy toggles for them or you could just use a random stick out in the woods. And what you do is you tie it like that. And then now it would be shorter, but you take that and you take your continuous loop from your hammock and run it over and it hangs. Like this end is tied to the tree and then this just hangs from that knot and um, and then whenever you go to untie it you just take your hammock off of there pull this out and then untie it and you're done that's a marlin spike hitch that works really well with dyneema straps and it works well with the thinner straps here and um, it's it's an option I didn't go into detail on how to do the Marlin spike hitch and stuff like that. I'm making another video that's going to cover that kind of stuff, but I just wanted to show you things to consider in the straps that you want to use. Um, so if you want to use something like the Marlin spike hitch, which is really nice and I've used it a lot of times, then you need to get a, a thinner strap, either the Dyneema or the thinner polyester to be able to tie that Marlin spike hitch. These thick straps, they don't work so great on it. You can do it. You, uh, you could do it with the thicker straps. But, um, and it, it works okay. But it just, just doesn't want to tighten down. See, it just doesn't want to really tighten down very good. Uh, but it, it will work, but I definitely don't recommend using thicker straps if you're going to use something like the Marlin Spike Hitch for your suspension. So that's it. Um, hopefully, it give you a little bit of knowledge to help you make a good decision on what type of straps you want to use for your hammocks. Uh, some of the different options that are out there. And, you know, like I said, the size difference, you know, between these 12 foot straps and these 12 foot straps. And then this is a 14 foot Dyneema strap that's coiled up. Um, so if weight's a consideration, I, I use these type of straps all the time. I don't, I don't have to worry about them getting wadded up and not protecting the tree properly. Um, the, these don't wad up like the, like the Dyneema. Um, I prefer these type of straps, just my personal opinion, but um, Dyneema does save a lot of weight and everything. And with these, they get so twisted up, instead of rolling them up like this, I, I usually just end up wadding them up, you know, and then hope they don't get tangled whenever I'm trying to undo them, because it is such a pain to try to straighten these things back out to get them coiled up. So that's it, um, some of your strapping options. Like I said, the stuff like the Marlin Spike Hitch and the Beckett Hitch and all that kind of stuff, I'm going to make a separate video where I'm going to go into detail 
on how to use them, uh, how to tie them properly, and and how to use them with your hammock. So, um, so that's why I didn't spend a lot of time with that. I just wanted to show you the basics of the straps, what we can do for your, for you, um, for custom straps or different strap options. I hope this helped.